What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. I'm Scott and this is part 2 of the mercenary and how to level him up to level 30. So first off we begin by evening out our skills. So we'll get all our melee weapons and our explosives sort of as high as we can get. So we've got melee weapons and that to f and guns to 50. Now we'll start off with explosives. This is one of the perks we've chosen so we can throw our frag grenades a lot further and at faster velocity just making them a whole lot more useful. You can also additionally use grenade rifles if you choose or launchers, whatever you call them. So next level we'll fix up our explosives and we'll also uh, yeah, okay, we'll just go further with explosives. We'll just dump it all into explosives. Now more into guns this level. And now what we want to take here is just, there's no reason not to. And, you know, basic education, I guess. So educated. Then we want to get more into our uh, guns. We really want to focus on our guns as soon as possible. Uh, and then back that up with our explosives. So now we have all these choices. So we've got two of the um, perks we should take. Um, we should, now this is a bit of a role-playing thing, but you know the greediness and darkness of wars and all the violence and gore, so bloody mess. Even though it is a little over-exaggerated, it's, it's always fun to have. It makes your explosives look a whole lot cooler. Um, let's balance that out to that. And we'll start working on our repair a little bit, because we will want to repair our stuff every now and then, and it is one of our minor skills. So now... Um, another one of our perks, before we even have to touch intense training, which we do use, this is the center of this entire build. 25% more damage with all of what you see there on screen. So our grenade, our all-American rifle, our pistol, and um, our combat knife. So absolutely necessary. Now, what we should do here is... We should balance out our medicine a little bit, get our medicine up, because we, we want to heal ourselves, and by level 9 we'd be in a lot of combat situations. Um, we've got our repair sort of, we'll get our guns up to 90. Uh, now, if I have a quick look, give me a second. We've got, so we've got Grunt, we've got Heave Ho, and it, so now there's basically none of our um, n uh, essential perks, sorry, uh, until... We've got 10 ranks of intense training, so we'll start with our intense training, we'll get some into agility, straight off the bat, and that's so we can take advantage of the boosts to guns. Now we'll start going up with our, um, our melee weapons, we haven't touched that in a while, so boost that up, because that's our other major skill. We'll get explosives up to 80, and then get melee weapons up to 74. Intense training again. And I think we'll get our perception up again. So, uh, more accuracy, help out our explosive skill. This is just being efficient with our skills. So, there we go. Um, we have... So, we've got guns, explosives. Let's just bump up our explosives to 90. And then we'll start going up with our medicine. And then we'll take our medicine to 50 along with our repair and then we'll get intense training again and what we'll do is we'll up our luck to six and there is a reason for this uh, and then we have our what should we do what should we do whoops get our melee weapons up a great deal get that to 88 this looks nice get it to 90 because why not um, and we'll take up our medicine again now I'm not sure if we have this access to this yet hold on hold on yes now this is the one we did want well at least I wanted um, better criticals I think it's a great perk and and we're going to be using like grenades and lots of explosives headshots and so it's basically just more damage and we've got the uh, stats for it so we may as well have it and it will help out a lot and a lot more uh, it doubles up with bloody mess. It gives a lot of... You'll see a lot of the gore with all the critical hits. Well, the critical damage. Um, now, uh, we'll get our repair up. Because we, we're trying to... We'll, we'll actually desperately get our repair up. Now, just have a quick look through here. Doesn't seem like anything else. Uh, 
There's nothing else we really need. I, we want to go a lot of intense training. This character's a real, um... He's a jack-of-all-trades. Well, he's kind of not jack-of-all-trades. I guess he's sort of master of all trades, if anything. He's a uh, lot sturdier, so we can get this for more health, more resistances. So we'll go 8 endurance. Um, we'll go out with our repair again to 92. And we'll get our medicine up a little more. And one thing that we probably should hit always... And for pretty much every single character, I would always recommend Jury Rigging. It's an awesome perk, and we should probably get it for this character, because he has a lot of different weapons, and he needs to repair them. And it's easier if you can find them with more commonly available um, materials. So, Jury Rigging. And now, from here on out, I think we're basically just going to be doing intense training. So, if we have a look, we'll, uh, we may as well just max up... Uh, Wait, what have we got? Medicine? We'll get medicine higher, up to 90. And then we've... Actually, all our skills are getting close. So, we're not going to go any further in intelligence. So, air or medicine, really. So, we'll get those to 100 first. Only because that allows us to just be a little more conservative with our points. So, when we put another point into, say, perception... We get the advantages of explosives there, 92. I know it's only two points, it's just me being pedantic, but I am just showing you the little tactics. But basically, let's just max them now, like, I'm not I'm not really too concerned. Um, you guys can deal with it as at your own discretion. Um, so, melee weapons, 98. Get another intense training in there. We've got... We'll get our luck to 7, because we don't really need any higher strength. Unless you do want to go for, like, rocket launchers or stuff later on. So now we've got all our major and minor skills maxed. Um, honestly, my next ones, just for the theme of the character, I would either go unarmed or survival. So you could boost your melee with that, and it's sort of like he's a competent special forces kind of character, or survival. I always like survival, just because of some of the perks it gives you for later on, so I'll just go for survival for the sake of it. Um... Now, intense training, seven. Um, we should go into luck again. Get that to eight. Now we'll get our survival up. Go down again, get our survival up. So our survival's nearly max. See, you don't really need heaps and heaps of intelligence, because, I mean... We've maxed all the necessary skills to this character at level 30, and we've only got four intelligence. It's not like we've got, um, you know, it's so desperately behind. So we've got intense training eight. And what we'll do is we'll get our, um, what we'll do, I think we'll put our agility up and get the, um, and then get our, uh, what's to call it? Our VATS points up, because that's what we want. Now, let's, now with survival is maxed, I will probably go into unarmed next as part of the character, so unarmed or sneak, but ladies and gentlemen, that's not enough. Give me a second. And here we are on level 30, um, didn't have enough XP there, just had to make a cut, get our unarmed to 47, and finally, intense training 9. Now, with Intense Training 9, we'll go, um, hmm, ultimately, I think, to get the most benefit, we should get 9 Endurance, so we can get the max amount of implants later on, so we can get our Strength Implant, Perception Implant, we can get an Endurance Implant, we can get our Agility Implant, Luck Implant, I am, to role playing wise, I'm trying to avoid Charisma Intelligence and the intellectual sort of skills, but yes, yeah, so that's the character, hope you enjoyed. That is the mercenary. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm Scott. Social media, me media links are in the description. And I'll see you all next time.